Hi, Capricorns. This is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mamelin, Psychic Medium. Welcome to a timeless love reading for my Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and any cross watchers. Always welcome. Let's see what spirit has for you. What's coming next in love or anything about a connection around you. Please use any of my readings to manifest a love that you are worthy of or to confirm a love that has come into your life. Let's see what spirit has. Spirit, please share with me. I am listening for you now. Let's see what they want you to know. I have forbidden a sense of family. Um, family disapproves. Okay. Oh, boy. You know, sometimes families know better than we do, but sometimes that family says, you know, I don't want you to be with that person, but you're the only one who gets to choose who you get to be with, but it could be forbidden for other reasons. Let's see, chained, unable to get away, anchored in a relationship. Is this somebody that is not available on some level? Okay, I'm, I'm going to ask if it's third party or if they are just in some kind of other arrangement. I'm going to say it's complicated. I am going to say at least it's complicated. It's coming into me. We'll get a little bit more. Uh, what do they say? What, it, what do they say it is? A, a situation ship. <laughs> um, you know, something is going on here. Let's get this feeling of um, what is going on with your feelings. This journaling is coming into me as more of a emotional relationship with lots of text messages or emails, uh, lots of communication kind of behind the scenes. Um, spirit saying not ready, almost like a not ready to come out of the closet feeling. So somebody is holding back their emotions, they're holding back being in public with you for some reason. But we do feel like we are connecting on a very spiritual level. So this is very difficult. Let's see what the cards are saying. Um, right now, it's coming into me as this sense of I want to be with you and I can feel this emotional connection either, like I said, through um, emails or phone calls. And we've got to figure out how to take it to the next level. Spirit, please share with me. Welcome back, everybody. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Comment below. What is going on in this connection? Nine of Pentacles. I have a Nine of Wands. I have a Fool. And I have a black Newman. Okay, so that feels like the moon to me. So the the feeling is I, I'm somebody trying to move on. Okay, they're trying to get themselves out of a situation. And they really do want to move on. But there is this sense of fear. Where do I go? What would happen? Um, will, will I be as secure in the next relationship as, as this one? Um, so there could be, it could be a matter of just a roof over somebody's head, or we share a home together still, but we're not in love anymore. We could have been in a long-term relationship, but we have an agreement that we can see other people. It could be something along those lines. I have a high priestess. What is your intuition telling you? I feel like, you know, it's a, it's a soulmate. I feel like you are both being very honest with each other and open and truthful. There is a lot going on here with, I want to be with you one day is how it's coming into me. And we are just not there. Maybe that's something that we talk about a lot. Like there's going to be a day that we can be together. We're going to get through this. There's something going on here. I have a seven of wands, you know, I don't want to give up on this connection. So, you know, we're emotionally involved. We are probably physically involved too, but we just can't figure out this situation. There are some barriers. There could be some children involved that are holding us back um, from making a decision to make a big change in our lives. It's almost like we have to just kind of wait it out um, until we can be together. It could be because of some kind of timeline around 
a situation or kids. So I do feel like there is a day that we'll be together, but it's very difficult because you have found your soulmate and you're both in love with each other is how I feel. Flames of, of passion, let the flames of your passion light your way, but be mindful of the fires that may ignite in your journey. So we know that this love and this passion is going to cause some kind of for lack of better term, some kind of chaos or um, upheaval in, in somebody's life, whether it's on your side or their side. So it is a feeling of this passion is going to lead to a change. It's going to lead to a tower moment for someone. I have the unknowing, a cloud of unknowing. I don't know which way it's going to go is probably what's going on right now. We're just saying to each other, we love each other. We want to be together. Uh, what's going to change. We just can't see how the circumstances are going to shift anytime soon, Spirit just said. So you may be in this kind of relationship for a while because I, I feel like the timeline is e even years. I have a crystal of clarity. Eliminate your path with openness and insights. You will see this path more clearly if you two are meant to be together, you both will decide how we are going to be together. What do we need to do to be together? What change do we need to make um, in this situationship um, to figure things out? But if somebody's saying to you, I want to be with you one day and you feel the same way, I think that you guys can figure it out. I have rising flames. Let your passion guide you to the fulfilling purpose so no doubt in my mind, look at this. It's like flames of passion and rising flames. You know, I have no doubt in my mind. Um, I've got a breakthrough happening. Okay. Navigate life's many twists and turns with elegance and resistance. So you probably have been going through a lot with this person. You could have be, even be going through a lot with this person over a long period of time. So we do have a breakthrough coming. I'm going to say it that way, which would be really encouraging that you see forward movement, that there's something going on in this connection that just gives you that hope that this isn't going to go on indefinitely, or this is not the rest of your life where you are today with this person. So I do want to give you a ray of hope because the one thing we know about energy is it's always in constant motion that whether you like it or not, you're always progressing. You're always moving forward in some, on some way, but we do have a breakthrough and maybe something is starting to shift and happen and things are moving better. I have a guardian. I've got lost loved one in your life is watching over you. Beautiful. I have manifest. Tell the universe, of course, what you want. And that's what these readings are for. Talk to the universe. Talk to spirit. Just ask them what you need to have, have happen uh, so that the kind of the wheels are in motion. Spirit just said the wheels are already in motion. So spirit's already working on this. I, I feel like spirit wants the two of you to be together as well. Uh, gambling. Somebody may have some, not necessarily gambling, but I'm going to say some financial influence that the situation involves money, that it's not as easy as it seems. It's not as simple as all I have to do is, um, you know, go from here to there. There's a lot of money involved or, yeah, somebody's moving on. So you want to make sure that there's a sense of it came into me more as a moving out. Somebody moves out. Somebody has to leave a space doesn't necessarily mean that you're married. It could be as simple as, you know, somebody was in a long-term relationship with somebody, they live together, they rent a, a house together, and, you know, they just share the expenses and they're just not in a position to be out with that or support that home on their own. So it could be something along those lines, but there's money involved. And, but at some point, somebody has to make a move. OK, it's time to make a move. And that that's really what we're talking about. Um, somebody's got to pull the trigger and just say, you know what, if we want to be together, um, that's what we have to do. And we have to make a decision. So it is complicated. It is difficult. 
I just don't want that timeline to be so far out in the future that there's a lot of waiting for any one person. So let's see what else they're saying. I do believe you're very much in love. It's a new beginning. I'm very optimistic, beautiful. I do believe that. I feel that, you know, this is a love like no other spirit just said. Here's the higher fan. So I think that spiritually you feel like you're supposed to be with this person. Either this person was put in your life for a reason. They could have been somebody from your past that never turned into a long-term relationship and now they're in your life again. So something is going on with this connection, but it does feel like there's a connection like no other. And I'm going to say that there could be three people involved and that somebody doesn't want to hurt that third person. And it, they're just trying to make it as easy as they can to be able to move forward and take their time to be able to move forward so that, you know, somebody isn't, isn't put out or somebody is okay financially or somebody, I feel like they're trying to do the right thing, even if they're not physically with that person anymore or emotionally with that person anymore. I feel like they're just trying to do the right thing to be able to move on for themselves, which is, which is, um, I think an adult thing to do. All right, let's see what else they say. I have a six of cups. So there's that energy of, I feel like we're supposed to be together, a past life energy. I feel like I've known you forever. I want to focus on the future spirit saying, and I have to let go. Here it is. I let go and embrace the new beginnings. So somebody is ready to, you know, I mean, people look at the death card and they, they kind of, you know, roll their eyes um, and think that it's like the worst card in the deck. It isn't because we all have stops and starts. We all have endings and beginnings. And it's kind of the cycle of life. So in this case, I feel like, and even this card, I feel like is very enlightening, even though it's the death card, it's embracing the new, new beginning. It's someone who is having a breakthrough to make the move so that they can have a new beginning with you. And that, that feels, that feels right to me. It does. It feels right to me. Let's see what let's see what the messages are. What loving messages do you have? You are incredible and you are. You could be the best thing that's ever happened to them. I will love you forever. So I feel like you really have found your soulmate. The circumstances might not be ideal, okay? It might not be a perfect timing or perfect clean slate. I'm going to say it that way. It's a situation ship, <laughs> you know, for some of you, but it is a new beginning and I want you to be optimistic about it. And I, I really do believe when spirit said to me, I want to be with you one day that this person really does want to be with you. It's just, how do we get there? And I think you're both smart enough to figure it out. I think you guys can work together if that's, you know, you're meant to be together. I'm still so deeply in love with you. So part of me feels like this person could have been, you know, in your past a long time ago. Maybe we've reconnected for some of you and I never stopped loving you. Maybe you were the one that got away. And now, you know, fast forward on our timelines. I don't want to lose the chance to be with you. I'm not happy. You're not happy. We could be happy together, something like that, because I really do love you. That's the bottom line is that it's the person that I really do love. So we're going to put this out into the universe. It's a complicated situation, but you can face it. You can get out of a situation. You can make changes. Uh, if it's meant to be, it's going to be. So let's put this out into the universe. I want to thank Spirit for this reading today. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Thank you always for your kind words and comments. I really appreciate it. If anyone would like to book a private reading with me, please check out my website at kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.